Let's get outside now for a look at conditions all over the Piedmont Tribe. Going to start with Leanne Denyer. She is live in Wilkes County. I don't see a whole lot behind you other than a little bit of snow on grass. No, there's not a whole lot to tell you about, Kenny, but not here at least, but really was the theme of the day that it just really depended on where you were. We've seen it all. We've seen shopping centers with even less than this in parts of Wilkes County, but then we saw kids making a giant snowman. This was not a little snowman. I'm telling you, it was a big snowman, but this is some of our favorite video from the day. This is uh, just over the county line from Wilkes County into Ash County. Just beautiful up there, about six inches on the parkway. Lots of people out kind of just taken in the sights. Can you blame them? It's just absolutely gorgeous family that we caught up with say that they like to do this. You know, first big snowfall of the year. They like to load up the car and take some pictures. Here's what the their two brothers had to say. We haven't gotten a good snow in a couple of years, so it's good to see this. I don't normally enjoy snow, but hey, it's good to see at least one good one a year. So I'm happy about this. How cold are you right now? I'm pretty cold. And I'm pretty cold too, Tyler, but we're doing all right. Spoke with the sheriff's office earlier today. They said, you know, the regular adage that we hear on days like this, if you can stay home, go ahead and stay home. But overall, things looking pretty good from where we're standing. We'll send it on back to you. Good report. Thank you, Leanne. Let's turn our attention a little further north now. We've got our Justin Shore live in Surrey County. So, Justin, how are things looking out there? Hey, Brianna, good afternoon. Things are looking significantly better. It started out just a few hours ago snowing, and then that snow turned into rain, and that rain has really tapered off. This is a look at the conditions right now out on the roads. Just a little wet out there. John Shelton, the emergency services director, tells me that they really haven't responded to any calls this afternoon or this morning because of the weather. He tells me that they had originally called in the National Guard but sent them home earlier today. He does say, though, that he is concerned about possible black ice starting early tomorrow morning. But right now, conditions seem to be getting better here in the Surrey County area. That's the latest here in Surrey County. Justin Schreer, WXAI 12 News. Justin, thank you very much. Been relatively calm in the heart of the triad throughout the day, but we're starting to see some flakes flying in Winston-Salem. Ford Hatchet joins us live with those details. Picking up Ford or dying down at this point? Kenny, it, it is picking up just a little bit. We waited for most of the day to see if any snow would fall. There was some this morning, a little later than we anticipated, and then it was dead for most of the day, and then about 3.30, so for about an hour and a half now, the snow has started to fall again. I want to show you some of the clips that we got this morning of the snow falling around Winston-Salem. You can see it at Truist Stadium and other places around our area. I've been on the phone. I just actually got off the phone with both the Forsyth County Emergency Services and Winston-Salem Police. They say they haven't had any reports of crashes or incidents or even road closures today. Everything going pretty smoothly right now. The Forsyth County School District, uh, they're still on break, so no school closures today, obviously. But the Department of Transportation is telling people as this snow starts to come down, it's a little lighter and it's wet, so these roads might get a little more slick. So give yourself that extra braking distance if you are going to drive and make sure you're staying safe. From Winston-Salem, Ford Hatchet, WXII 12 News. Good info, Ford. Thank you. Rounding out our snow coverage tonight, we're going to go to Guilford County. Our Bill O'Neill joins us live in Greensboro. So, Bill, what are you seeing? Some snow or some rain right now? I tell you, take a look at this. This is some of the biggest snowflakes you're ever going to see. An hour ago, I asked for snow, much to the chagrin of photographer Jeff Amernick, who questioned my sanity. But look at it. It is really coming down. Big, fat, juicy snowflakes. Some of the biggest flakes I've seen in a while. It has been Coming down now for, I say, 30 or 40 minutes, it is not let up in its intensity. The good news is it is not causing any travel problems. Take a look. We're standing along Cone Boulevard, which is north of downtown Greensboro. The roadway is wet, but it is not slick. Rush hour traffic having no problems that we can see. It is really pretty outside. It'd be even better if you were home on the couch with a blanket and a good book. But this is really a pretty sight right now. I don't know if we're going to get any of this snow to stick, but boy, it is really coming down. It is really big flakes and it is really cold outside. Guys, this is not comfortable to be out here, but again, the roads are in decent condition right now. If you have to head out to pick up dinner or something, you should be fine, at least for the time being. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill. Back to you. 
Bill and Jeff, we appreciate you both. Thanks for being out in this slop. And to stay up to date on the changing weather, download the free WXII 12 News mobile app. You can track any storm using our interactive radar feature to see exactly when what will come to you.